Hi, it's Fabrice, and I will show you how to use uh, Obvious Idea internal component to translate to another language. So actually, as soon as you are in uh, Obvious Idea web page, you have to scroll down, select your language if it's not detected automatically. So I will select French because it's a language I can speak. Je peux parler français. And uh, once it's selected, you will have another option to click which say I can translate and as soon as you have this option you will see a lot of little dots and the color show if the text is translated or not so basically if the automatic translation has been uh, used uh, everything will be uh, maybe already translated but it needs to be uh, improved so as soon as you want to translate one sentence, you just click on it. You will have a pop-up with the English, the reference text on the top, and the translation uh, suggested by default. So, if you want to change something, you just change. Uh, and you click here to check and re save uh, the, the new translation and that's it it will be automatically used and changed there so you can do it for every page uh, not this one of course I take a page which is not in the yes of the um, of use idea website and here you can change one by, no one by one all the text directly inside the, the website so it's pretty cool don't focus to translate everything just try to fix uh, all the bad translation for example light image resizer when I change it for another language Sometimes it will not. This one is okay, but for this one maybe some texts are not translated because they don't need to be translated. Like VSO image resizer doesn't need to be translated, but this part can be translated. So you see, you click here, and even if you don't know, uh, so here I don't know why there is no translation suggested by Google anyway and uh, so I, I think you really get the idea so it's something done by Transposh which is a plugin for WordPress so if you have any more questions just contact me